Okay, I better. I'll go ahead and kill the music right here. Um, both. Uh, both, right? At least as of right now, it's not like I've played every single ARPG out there, but this is my favorite right now. Um, I played, uh, I played Diablo 2, played Diablo 3, I played Path of Exile, I played Torchlight 2, and, um, if you'd want to call it that, uh, Divinity, Original Sin, I played those, out of all those that I played, this one here is my favorite. Um, I'm trying to think. For, probably for starters, um, it's, it, it can be played single player or multiplayer. What that means is you don't have to be connected to the internet in order to play it. So, if for whatever, if I lose my internet for whatever reason, I can keep right on playing this. Um, uh, another thing is, uh, in a way, the story. I don't know about, um, I don't know about giving away spoilers, but I'll go ahead and, uh, Yes, here's a here's a small sample. Nowhere in any other, any other game have I ever seen it. Have I ever seen this? Did they actually get technical with some of this. As I find the spot between their ribs and push the blade in, they always cry and it makes me a little sad. I mean, yeah, kind of yes, kind of no. As far as, yeah, that, because most other games I play, when they mention stuff like this, it's just performing blood rituals. And like, that's it, or blood sacrifice rituals to Satan. But that's all they mention about it, not, not what's involved in actually doing it. The blood drains quickly from a slit across the carded artery and drains into the specially prepared oak cast that the carpenter, another blessed by the blood lord with his task, prepares for me. I mean, I mean, they, they, they get technical with the stuff. So like that'd be another reason. Um, I guess um. Another uh, another reason why is um, this game has hardcore mode, aka permadeath. But this is actual, this is true permadeath. Like when you die, you lose everything. You lose your character, all your possessions, like just everything gone. There's a there's a lot of other games that that say they have permadeath, but really what they're also offering you are death benefits. Like when you die, you'll get upgrade points, you'll get achievement points, you'll get gold, currency, whatnot. Then you can, you know, you can use that to upgrade yourself and all for your next attempt. I mean, to me, that's not that's not that's not true permadeath. Yes. And yes, there have been quite a few times where. Where I've had my health down to like almost nothing. Oh, 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 you know, so. Yeah, because it. Uh, I'm going to have to go in depth on this. Um, I guess, uh. I actually. Uh, on my, uh, one of my blog posts, I actually wrote down a whole. a whole list of everything I like about this game. But I'm. Um, Unfortunately, I can't remember a lot of what they were. I guess this could also be another good thing. It's not a, it's not easy like Diablo 3 where every time you level up, they hand you this ability, you level up again, and this ability is given to you. 
I mean, it's not it's not easy like that. But uh, on the other hand, it's not it's not hard like a Path of Exile where you get the big old skill trees, you know, shoved right in your face and you have to go. You know, you kind of get overwhelmed by all the all the gems you get and you have to figure out what goes good with what and all that. Yeah, where's uh yep. Whereas in this game here, I'll I'll have to show you uh, let me go on here real quick. This is called uh, Grim Tools. These are your classes. When you get your character to level 2, you'll have an option to choose one of these. Yes, and here, this is, pr this is pretty much what sold me right here. I mean, when you, you know, when I first read these, I'm thinking, okay, okay, soldier, he must be the melee guy. Yep, looks like he's sword and board, gonna charge in and melee shit. <laughs> you know, and you read it, and it's like, yeah, prefers the use of close combat weaponry, yeah, he's a melee guy, such as sword and shield, blah, 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 but can also prove formidable with firearms. This guy can rage too? Oh wow. You know, oh, oh I wonder what this guy does. Oh, oh yeah, he's he's the firearm guy, just like the machinist in Final Fantasy fourteen. We Yeah, yeah, they blah blah blah. They usually prefer to fight at range, engage your enemies in gun straps and explosives. Oh well, I guess he must be the hunter class off of World of Warcraft. But they can also be proficient with melee weapons. You can melee with this too? Oh wow, you know. And so it, they weren't going with cookie cut or anything on here. You know, and you, as, you, as you're looking at all these other classes too, excelling with neither sword nor gun, they can use either to augment their offense. You know, I, I mean, and I'm sure you probably played other games like that too. You know, you, you look at the big burly Big burly guy with the heavy armor and the sword and shield. You already know what he's going to do. Nothing but sword and shield stuff. I mean, you know, it's just a one-sided, you know, cookie cutter character. Um, and also, uh, I guess now that I'm here, the way, uh, the way this works is every time you level up, you, from levels one through fifty, you'll get you'll get three uh, attribute points or upgrade points. You always have to spend one of them down here every time. Um, you can spend points down here at your uh, mastery, your your mastery bar, I guess it's called. And every time you do, you'll get additional attribute and health and energy points. And this is another reason why I like this game. No other game have I ever played has this. It, you have a, a lot of these abilities. They activate off of default weapon attacks. Whereas most other games I've played, you know, you you start at level one, you get your 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 basic attack until you get to level two and then you get your first ability and then after that you use that ability until you level up and use another ability but then those previous excuse me those previous abilities are never seen and heard from again not here your basic attacks can often be as powerful as uh, your regular cast ability hard casted abilities excuse me no or I guess what I was trying to say earlier is the difficulty is right in the middle. It's not super easy like uh, Diablo 3 where it's, it's all handed to you. But it's not uh, it's not grossly complicated like Path of Exile either. So the complexity is like right in the middle. Oh, and uh, when you get your character to level 10, you'll have the option to choose another class. 
So, in my case, I guess for this guy here, I chose Necromancer. And again, this is another class that I was looking at. Oh, Necromancer. Probably going to be another class like Diablo 2. Just going to... He's just going to sit back and sit back on his ass and let all the skeletons do the work. Get all the XP and loot for him. <laughs> you know, when you read down towards the last sentence, it's like, Necromancers make heavy use of conjuring forth skeletal minions and sapping the very vitality from the unwary foes, just like Diablo 2. <laughs> Though entering the fray themselves with martial weapons is not unheard of. You can melee with these guys? You know, so... But, like I, was, like I was saying, in this game here, you can dual class. So, the possibilities are near endless. And, um, again, every time you level up, you'll get three upgrade points, so... Not a problem. <laughs> and I bet now you understand, you definitely understand why I had to pause the game, huh? But... You know, you can pick, or in my case, you know, so you can, not a problem, not a problem. You, I mean, at, at least you're asking. I mean, if, if you have an interest in this game, and if you're at, you know, you're asking about it, at least you're doing that. I'm sure there's a lot of other, a lot of other people that come on here. Oh. Looks like a Diablo. Oh, looks like a Diablo 2 clone. Eh, whatever. Pew, off they go. You know. You know, or they just. You know, or they don't ask her. Oh, this don't look any other different than any other ARPG I've ever seen. And pew, off they go to watch Leviathan do Diablo 3 or something. You know. Yeah. But yeah, the theoretically, you can have a, you can start with a soldier class, and then you can pick a, you can pick a mage class. But I mean, I mean, I mean hell, even a, even the, even a pure caster like this guy here. He's gonna. He's going to have abilities that benefit all classes, not just him. I mean, yeah, he's got something like this here. It's a pure caster ability, you know, just magic missile, basically. But uh, you know, this game here also has what Path of Exile has. It has, uh, it has buffs that reserve mana. It's got, this game's got it too. Not this one, but and um, yeah, this game here has what's called elemental damage, which means it it's um all three fire, ice, and lightning rolled into one. But yeah, this, I mean, like I said before, this guy's a pure caster, but I mean this ability here, I mean this here can pretty much benefit. Um, any other class that also uses fire, ice, and lightning, lightning abilities. So, you know, I guess this one here, um, I guess this ability here. Oh yeah, there's something else too. When leveling up and using your points, you uh, you have to put a bunch of these. You have to put at least at least fifty points in order to unlock the full potential of your class. Because if you can see here down at the bottom, like you have to put in at least one point in order to access these ones here. You have to put in at least five points in order to access these ones here, and so on and so forth. You know, and then you can, like here, I'm at level 5 now, so, 
This ability here, Electra's Flash Freeze, that's a freeze ability, it deals cold damage. I mean, this, I mean, again, she might be a pure, um, she might be a pure Caster Mage class, but that ability there, that can be useful for any other class that uh, utilizes cold damage. That ability there, that's useful for any other class that also uses fire damage or um, aether damage. In this game here, aether is basically the pure magic, magic element. Um, I know, uh, I know the necromancer uses aether damage, so this class here can also benefit necromancer. So, like I was saying, like I was saying on all these classes. I mean, there's a lot, the possibilities are near endless on here. And again, this isn't something I don't, I don't recall seeing a whole lot of in any other game except maybe Path of Exile. Whereas most other games, once you pick a class um, and or a, a talent tree, you're stuck in that tree. This, that's all you get. I mean, you pick this class, that's all you get. You know, you pick this talent tree, that's all you get. So... But yeah, I think I've pretty much said everything I wanted to say about this game. And besides, I might uh, I might actually go ahead and take this part, part of the video here, and I'll go ahead and um, I'll highlight it off of Twitch, and I'll go ahead and upload it to YouTube. Thank you, Plasma.